Okay everybody, welcome. Welcome once again to linuxin.com. Today we are going to discuss security enhanced Linux. All right? So security enhanced Linux is a Linux kernel security module that provides a mechanism for supporting access control security policies um, including mandatory access controls, okay? So SE Linux, it's basically a set of kernel modifications and a user space tools uh, that have been added to various Linux distributions. Its original developers were though Red Hat software developers, but um, basically if uh, we would see uh, in the upcoming slides that other uh, developers from the world around the world has also contributed uh, to its existence today okay so um, traditional security within the system has been based on uh, discretionary access control which is also known as DSC um, so what happens is that normally each program has full control over the access to its resources okay so uh, uh, if a specific program decides to make an incorrect access like uh, for example it tries to access any sort of private information um, from the user or private information of the system which could actually potentially um, be very uh, private and it could harm systems behavior or anything else like that then in that case, it could be really um, useful, the DAC I'm talking about, okay? So what happens is that the executed program uh, will have the same permissions as the user who is executing it, okay? So what, uh, therefore, uh, the system security will be depending on the application that are being executed and on the vulnerabilities that these may have or on the malicious software um, that these may include, okay? So what would happen um, is that in the case of the root user, um, this would compromise the global security of the system. So traditional security within the system has been based on uh, discretionary access control techniques. Okay. So what happens is that normally each program has full control uh, over the access to its resources. So um, you can say that why it is uh, desired, why do we have this kind of specification? So the idea is that um, in case a specific program or the user decides to make an incorrect access uh, to your private files or your private programs or your private processes, so in order to deal with that, user has full control over the programs um that belong to him or her okay so we'll see that what other systems or what other techniques that we have that we use in se linux okay so for now that was basically the description of the dac so in the case of the root user obviously um this would compromise the global security of the system so for example this kind of thing if if it happens then we all know that in the case of the root user um uh, you know it is going to affect the whole system okay so um if you uh, if you are familiar with linux if you have been working with it so you know that uh, whenever you have to make some um you know uh, changes in the global level of the system then obviously you have to use a sudo command which actually turns you into the super user or the root user and then you can make changes to the system okay so moving on so now um on a separate note, let's talk about mandatory access control. So mandatory access control techniques, um, it develops security policies, okay, uh, which are defined by administrator essentially. Um, and here, the system has full control over the rights of access granted over each resource, okay? So for example, uh, we can give access to files with permissions, um, but with Mac, policies we have extra control to determine explicitly what files a process is allowed to access and what level of access uh, that we wish to grant okay so um, context that specify in what situation an object can access another object these uh, sort of contexts are also um, established so we will discuss what context is um, 
it's coming on later okay so do not worry if you don't know what our context is so um se linux uh, or security enhanced linux it basically implements mac type security policies although we have discussed uh, dac as well um so se linux it basically implements mac okay mandatory access control policies uh, so now these policies allow more refined access access permissions than traditional um, unix file permissions okay so for example uh, the administrator could allow data to be added to a log file but not to rewrite or truncate it so um, these kind of techniques are commonly used by attackers to er erase their tracks okay so that's why it is helpful so in another example um, we could allow network programs to link to the port all right so um, it would link to the port that they require all right so uh, what we would do that we would deny the access to other ports okay but what we would do that we would deny the access to other ports okay so um that would be helpful in controlling the certain uh, trojans or backdoor okay so we have a separate video um of uh, which is uh, related to attacking in which we have discussed trojans and backdoors and uh, these methods in detail okay so you can go watch that video and uh, the the title of that video is that what less than one person linux users know so that video is available on our channel as well so um now let's talk about some of the history okay so in se linux um so se linux which is security enhanced linux um it was developed by the us nsa agency with direct contributions from various companies for unix and free systems okay so um the examples are um, linux and bsd so it was available in the year 2000 and um, since then it has been integrated in different uh, gnu and uh, linux distributions okay so in se linux we have a domain type model where each process runs in a so called security context and uh, any resource uh, it could be a file directory or it could also be a socket um, they have a type associated to it all right so there is a set of rules that indicates what action can be performed in each context on each type all right so um, one of the advantages of this context type model is that the policies defined can be analyzed all right so um, they can be analyzed for determining what flows of information are allowed um, for example uh, to detect various routes of attack so for example if the user um, uh, if, if the user is using the system and the hacker is trying to um, attack from the various routes it would help detect those roads okay um or whether the policy is, is is sufficiently complete so we want to cover all potential accesses okay so um it has what is known as the se linux policy database uh, it also controls all aspects of se linux um, it determines what context each program can use to run and specifies uh, what types of each context can be accessed all right so um, in se linux if we talk about it every system every process has a con uh, context okay uh, and the context basically consists of three parts um, number one is identity number two is role and number three is obviously domain okay so if we talk about the identity um it is the name of the user account okay um you can also um, call user account as system underscore you uh, for system processes or um, if you have no defined policies then in that case um, you can um, also call it as user underscore you but in both the cases uh, both of them are what they are they are identity okay so uh, if we talk about the role it determines what the associated contexts are gonna be okay 
So for example, if, if as we have um, the identity user underscore R, it is not allowed to have the context, okay? Um, so therefore, a user underscore R with identity user underscore U cannot obtain a sys adm underscore T context in any way, okay? So um, the example of the security context is something like this that we have given below. It is specified by uh, these set of values. So first of all, uh, what we have here, we have a root here. We could have here um, a U user, or we could have here the identity um, as system underscore U. So basically this part, the first part that we have, uh, it is the identity, okay? So the second part that we have, sys adm underscore r, it is basically role, okay? And the third one that we have, sys adm underscore t, this is basically what? Uh, this is a context, okay? So I hope you have got the point. So if you really like this, give it a thumbs up and comment below and let us know um, if we should create another video on SC Linux. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, for written articles, um, you can keep on visiting our website, which is um, linuxin.com, as you all know. Thank you so much.